So this is a King Vision uh, laryngoscope uh, that has a video camera on it. You can see that uh, you can see my hand out there as you're looking in this screen. Uh, this gives us the, abil the ability to go down and actually visually see uh, a full view of the vocal cords and actually watch that tube uh, pass through the glottic opening. Uh, this is the uh, channel blade here. Uh, so this blade here would be used without a stylet. Uh, this is designed to just have the tube follow this channel uh, down through here uh, to where it will guide it right into the vocal cords. Uh, so what we're going to do is just demonstrate how well it works. Uh, we're going to enter the uh, uh, oropharyngeal airway here and we can visualize the teeth and the tongue there as we are going in. Uh, and we will make our way down to the uh, epiglottis and uh, right there is a really good view of our glottic opening and uh, we'll see uh, see how easily that tube passes through that glottic opening I can see the uh, the cuff of the tube pass completely past the cords, and that's about as far as we want to go as soon as that uh, cuff gets past the cords. Uh, we remove the King Vision. Uh, we inflate our, our cuff, remove the syringe, hook up a um, ET or VVM, begin to ventilate. <laughs> I'm looking for chest rise and fall, which I have bilaterally. I am listening for bilateral breath sounds to make sure that I have good tube placement here, here, uh, in the mid axillary areas as well. Uh, we would also use other confirmation techniques such as uh, end tidal CO2. And then we would uh, uh, at last uh, mark our depth of our tube and secure it in place with an ET tube. Uh, a securing device, a commercial device preferably. And uh, thank you very much.